Hi everyone, this message is to wish a very Merry Christmas to all of you who are part of the IFES Fellowship. I'm praying that each one of our students, as well as those who work with us, pray with us and those who support us, will find joy in Jesus this Christmas. And as we approach the Christmas season, I've been thinking about the joy that the wise men experienced. Matthew tells us that when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. While the Magi are some of the most familiar Christmas characters, we know almost nothing about them. A Time magazine piece last year suggested that we might call them scientists. Certainly, Matthew's Gospel indicates that the Magi were actively seeking knowledge and understanding, they were reading outside of their own language and tradition, and the fact that they noticed a star rising in the east shows a discipline and structure to their observing. Is it too much to say they were like students? But while sometimes our academic pursuits and institutions can be marked by a posture of pride, looking down on Christian faith, that's not what the Magi were like. Their education, openness and persistence in following the star led them to a small child, Jesus. And they responded to the child by bowing down in humility. They worshipped and they found joy. Thank you for being part of the IFES Fellowship in 2021. It's been a hard year and we need the joy of Jesus just as much as ever. It's been especially hard year for those of you who are students. You've been faced with a tidal wave of information and influences and many of you are dealing with fear and anxiety around career, relationships, injustice, social and political unrest, the global climate emergency, on top of all the struggles of the pandemic. It's in this context that we will continue to come together as IFES, in our local groups, in our regions, and as a global network. We share our gifts with each other as we endeavour to bring glory to God in the university. I pray that in God's grace, he will lead many more students to Jesus and that you, like the wise men, will be filled to overflowing with joy in Christ's presence in 2022. This Christmas, I pray that each of us will find the humility, curiosity and openness to once again follow the star and be ready to encounter Christ in a fresh way. As Peter reminds us in his first letter, even though we have not seen him, we love him. And even though we do not see him now, we believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for we are receiving the end result of our faith, the salvation of our souls. So may this be a joy-filled Christmas for you.